I've been messing around with some pipe fittings, uh, hydraulic fittings actually, and there's so many different threads, sort of different styles. I thought I'd just go over a couple ones I run into myself, which are can get you kind of confused, but once you look into it, it's not really too bad. Anyhow, this is a regular pipe fitting that most pipe fittings like for water, um, just about anything. It's just a a standard pipe fitting most people would call uh, and it's called an NPTF which is uh, let's see that stands for National Pipe Tapered Fuel so it's just a tapered fitting that screws together with with the opposite side what these threads do is they start to taper from small up to larger and and they tighten up. Now this is a flare fitting. Uh, it's not a hydraulic flit fitting, but it's more for gas or even water, I would imagine. But there's a difference. They do have one. It's a it's a hydraulic fitting, also. It looks familiar. It's it's uh, or similar. It's. Uh, a flare fitting again the difference is in flare the angle of the flare one's 30 degrees and one's a 45 degree the 30 degree is the hydraulic or 37 degree I think it is and it'll take more pressure I guess there's more of an area to seal so you can put more pressure to it and that's called a uh, a flare hydraulic I guess is what it's just called uh, JIC 37 degrees exactly what it's called I don't know what the JIC stands for and then you have an o-ring fitting this this is supposed to be one of the better fittings right here the strongest and best is what they say but this is a similar pipe fitting except there's no taper to it on this side and what this does is you screw it in and then this part screws down and the o-ring is what seals it they also make one that has which I don't have which has a face o-ring and it, the o-ring is actually in in a groove inside of this part and sets in there and that's just called a face o-ring fitting and then you get into all the different sizes, but that's the basic, most common fittings you run into, anyhow, for hydraulics. At least what I have run into, anyway. These are all SAE, which is, means this is American Standard um, Measurement. Then you can get into British hydraulic fittings sizes, and there's also metric sizes. So, you, but if you go to a good place that has a lot of different fittings, they can ex, they can find them for you and, f and figure it all out. The best thing to do if you're looking for a fitting for something is just to take it with you, and tell them what you want to do and a good place will explain it but I find you almost have to go to a an actual hydraulic place that knows about all the fittings because it's it's uh, takes quite a bit of knowledge of course you can look on the internet too and get a lot of it figured out but it's still not as nice to talk to someone about it to um, to get the differences 